Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be restoring my headlights. So if you have an older vehicle like my 2005 Cayenne, um, the headlights these days that your cars come with are plastic. They used to be glass back in the day, but to save money and weight, they switched to plastic. And over time, on the older vehicles, those headlights would start to turn like yellowish color and get very foggy looking. And of course that will reduce how much visibility you get at night because your light won't project as far out of your headlight because it's not clear. So there's a couple of kits out there on the market and you can restore your headlights with these kits. I'm going to be using Cerakote's headlight restoration kit today to clear up and remove all of this yellow oxidation on here and get it back to hopefully a clear shiny glass like finish. Okay guys, the first step is going to be to wash the car. You really want to wash the headlights, make sure there's nothing on it because during this process, the cleaning materials they supply you with are not meant to remove bug stains and stuff like that. So just really focus on the headlight area and then just ride around the headlight area for me because I'm going to be taping off this the uh, paint itself to make sure I don't get any of the material from this process on my paint and ruin my paint. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and tape around the headlight because again, the two different things you're gonna be using to one, remove all the oiling and then add a protective layer over the top. They could both damage the paint if they stay on there for too long. So I'm just gonna use some delicate surface tape and I'm going to tape around my headlight so I just don't have to worry about that. You don't have to do this. If you have a rag on hand, you can just very, carefully apply the materials and then um, if you get anything on your paint you can just wipe it off uh, I just really don't want to bother with that and risk anything so I'm just going to go ahead and since I have the tape on hand already just tape around the headlight Okay guys, now to start this process, step one will be the oxidation remover pad. So this kit comes with four per headlight and you're gonna to wanna to use them all and you're gonna use them up and they're gonna turn yellow over time. So as we rub it on here, we're just basically cleaning up the headlight. It's gonna to start to soil the, the uh, pad here and start to make it turn a yellowish color. And basically once it's fully saturated, we are going to throw this one away and rip open a new one and just keep repeating this process until we use up all four on each of the headlights. And make sure you wear the gloves that come with this kit. You don't want to have this stuff on your hands. And that's what we're talking about as far as it turns yellow. Although this is more like a goldish brown. Now during this process, you may want to have your hood open if it gives you better access to your headlight. It just depends on how your headlight is shaped. Um, I don't really need that because the only thing I've got here is just this little strip and I can just easily reach in like that with the pad and get to that edge. Which is also why I went ahead and taped everything off because I don't have to worry about it getting on the paint while I'm getting into this edge right here. Alright, that thing is pretty gnarly looking. Okay, I'm gonna say this one is done for, so I'm gonna throw this away and rip open a new one. So I'm on the third pad right now, and you can see that it's not turning quite as a uh, goldish brown color. It's kind of a little fainter, a little lighter in color right now. So I've already used up two, but it's still getting dirty and that's to be expected even on the fourth one it's probably still going to look um, pretty bad you're not going to come away with like a clear pad at the end and that's okay because step two is going to remove any remaining oxidation on the top of the uh, lens or the headlight cover i should say okay so i'm done with the first headlight applying the oxidation pad to it so i'm going to move on to the second one and again you have uh eight of these total four for each headlight so 
Now that I'm done with the first one, I wanna go ahead and clean this one up as well before I take these gloves off and move on because I'm gonna need a new set of gloves for the final step. Once you finish with all of your oxidation pads, you wanna take a spray bottle filled with water and a rag and you're gonna spray down your headlight and wipe off any remaining uh, residue from the oxidation pad. So moving on to step two, what we've got here is a little sanding pad applicator and we're going to attach the red one first. This is 2000 grit and then we're going to sand in a non-circular motion for two to three minutes and we're going to wet sand. So we're going to spray the headlight and we're going to spray the sanding pad with some water um, and we want to keep it wet during this process. And then once we are done sanding for about two to three minutes, we're going to take off the 2000 grit paper and put on this gray one, which is 3000 grit paper and repeat this process. And then when we're fully done, we're going to wet the headlight and wipe it all clean. Okay, I'm gonna remove the pad so I can get into these tight little areas. All right, I'm now going to rinse it off before I move on to the gray pad. All right guys, final step, step three, is going to be the ceramic clear coating. Um, this is what's gonna clear it up and provide a protective film essentially over the, on the lens here so that it stays nice and clear. So you're still gonna have a little bit of cloudiness on the headlight right now. That's to be expected and that's how it should be. If you are perfectly clear on the headlight before applying this, then you need to go back and repeat at least the sanding process at this point and get it to the point where when it's dry, it is still cloudy. And of course, before we apply this, we want to make sure this headlight is perfectly dry. So make sure you've rinsed it off really well, dry it down with multiple rags if necessary. And if you need to, you can step away for 15 or 30 minutes and let it air dry. So the key to using this one is we wanna start at the top and work our way down. We wanna move in horizontal stretches and we want to overlap with a single swipe each time by about 50% overlap. So I'm gonna start here, wipe over, and then I'm just gonna move you know, only about halfway at a time and just do a single pass each time. I'm just gonna very carefully just go around the edge here just to get anywhere that I wasn't able to get into. All right, they said only do it a single time, so I'm gonna leave it at that.
as the ceramic coating is now finished and it's fully dry. So this is the end result. Now, my left headlight definitely came out just a little bit clearer than the right one. I don't know if I uh, sanded this one a little bit better or if I just had better technique when applying um, step three of the product, which was that clear coat finish because I did do the right one first and I did the left one second. So maybe I just had a little better understanding of the direction I needed to go and how it needed to flow across the light. So I don't really know. But for about $27 to fix this, um, I'm really happy with how it came out. Can't wait to have these on at night because right now, before, I can barely see anything. So hopefully this will last a little while. And if I have to redo it in a year, that's okay because for this particular car, if I wanted to replace this entire installation to have them brand new, it would cost about $1,200. $27 is a lot better than $1,200. So that's it for today's video. So we'll see you next time on the DIY Drone.